Welcome to Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers Service Training on how to handle a guest complaint. What follows here in this training applies to all of the employees at Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers. Now you already know quite a lot about Barney's. Introduction to Barney's. Mission Statement and Values. Service and Hospitality. Policies and Procedures and Rules and Regulations. Sexual Harassment Policies. Safety Training. This next training is about how to handle a guest complaint. We will discuss the process of preventing, recognizing, and managing guest complaint challenges. The process of handling a guest complaint has three steps that we call AAA -A -A, Acknowledge, Apologize, and Act. Here at Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers, we see problems as opportunities. In spite of your best efforts, there will be occasions when things go wrong and a guest is unhappy. Like all encounters with guests, these situations represent opportunities to reach greater heights in guest satisfaction and prove to our guests that you really care. Remember, most guests who are dissatisfied will never complain, but they do tell an average of 10 people that they were unhappy. Unless you are aware that a guest is unhappy, you will be unable to fix the situation. At Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers, a guest complaint is valuable information that helps you understand what your guest wants. In addition, guests who complain and are handled well are the most likely to become regular, loyal guests. And they will tell their friends and family about our efforts that turn them from an unhappy guest into a happy one. Here's some tips on recognizing customer service problems. Some customer service problems are easy to recognize, especially when a guest is shouting angrily and demanding to speak to your manager. However, most guests never shout or even complain when they are unhappy with their service. To get honest information from guests, all employees may ask, what can we do better? Or specific questions such as, was your burger prepared to your liking? Or, did you enjoy the spices in the soup? If there is any indication that a guest is unhappy but reluctant to complain, be open and genuinely encourage them to share their feelings with you. When approached with a complaint, never do the following. Take offense. Argue. Challenge. Ignore. Criticize. Blame. Make excuses. Interrupt. Dwell on the negative aspects. Smirk, laugh, or act in a condescending way. Be sensitive to some of the more subtle signs that a guest is dissatisfied, such as guests who are looking irritated or annoyed, guests leaving a meal untouched or unfinished, guests who are avoiding eye contact with you, Guests who are unconvincingly saying that everything was okay or fine. Usually, a few pointed questions by an employee will prompt an honest assessment of your operation. Here are some ways of preventing problems before they occur. It is generally easier to prevent problems before they occur than to fix them after they have made a guest unhappy. One of the first steps in planning ahead to prevent problems is for an operation to have clear-cut lines of authority. All Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers employees must know which situations they are equipped to handle and which require the intervention of a manager or supervisor. The best way to prevent most problems and complaints is to do your job with care and enthusiasm. If the cook prepares an order incorrectly, do not serve it to the guest. Ask the kitchen to fix it. If seating is slow because you are busy, apologize to the guest before they complain. If lines have been long, thank guests for waiting as they approach you. Consider some common mistakes that can ruin a meal. 
waiting too long to be greeted, acknowledged, and placed in line or seated. Slow or rushed service. Problems with the food. Incorrect or incomplete orders. Sitting at a sloppy, dirty table. Unsanitary conditions. However, the most common cause of guest dissatisfaction is an employee's indifferent or rude attitude. Handling customer complaints. When you are confronted by an unhappy, frustrated, or irritated guest, it is critical that you maintain your composure and professionalism and keep the guest calm. To do this, remember the AAA steps. Acknowledge, apologize, and act. Acknowledge. Stay calm. Although it is sometimes difficult, it is vital that you do not take guest comments personally and that you remain calm. This will help you stay in control of the situation and will also keep the guest calm. Do not get defensive. When we think that others are attacking us, we normally feel threatened and seek to defend ourselves. We must avoid blaming the guest. Asserting that we are not at fault, making excuses, or blaming other employees or policies for the problem. Remember that this is about the guest and not about you. Always maintain a professional manner. You should never ignore a dissatisfied guest. The problem will not vanish by itself. However, the guest's business might. At Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers, we fix things fast and right. Do not hide behind a job description. Do whatever you can to help the guest or refer the guest to the employee who can help. Never blame the guest. If there is a mix-up on the wait list, do not say, Oh, there are six in your party? You told us there were four of you. Instead, assume the blame yourself. Oh, there are six of you? We have four written down. I'm very sorry. It's our mistake. We'll have a larger table ready for you in just a moment. Resist any temptation to prove that you are right, since this can be perceived as proving the guest is wrong. Never respond to a guest complaining that they ordered their burger medium by stating, Your hamburger is medium. Simply say, I'm sorry that this isn't cooked correctly. We'll be happy to make you another. Make sure that you are clear on exactly what the guest wants and then immediately tell the kitchen. Listen carefully. Take the time to hear what the guest is saying. Allow the guest to vent some anger and do not interrupt or tune out the guest. Active listening means hearing the guest and then asking for more information. Encourage the guest to explain the situation fully. Nod when appropriate. Maintain eye contact. And restate important information in your own words to show the guest that you've heard and understand everything he or she has said. Empathize. Try to see the situation from the guest's point of view. Let the guest know that you are on the same side battling the problem and not each other. Apologize. Deliver a sincere apology and accept responsibility for the problem. Simply say, I'm very sorry this happened. I apologize for your inconvenience. Be genuine and remember to manage what you are projecting with your body language and tone of voice. Act. Work with the guest to find a solution. A dissatisfied guest whose problem is solved promptly can become a loyal repeat visitor to Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers. After you've listened carefully to the guest's explanation of the situation and apologized, offer the guest options. This turns the guest's focus from being emotional to being more rational and it encourages the guest to help you determine a workable solution. 
By following these steps, you have treated the guest with respect and allowed them to feel some sense of control over the situation. This will go a long way to winning back the Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers guest goodwill. Follow up and check back with the guest or another employee to be sure that the situation has been handled satisfactorily. It is important to notify your manager of any complaints, even if you can handle them yourself. This helps the manager to find the root cause of the frequent problems and take correct action. This also gives the manager the opportunity to personally speak to the guest, to apologize, and doubly ensure that the problem was handled to the guest's satisfaction. This concludes how to handle a guest complaint training presentation. We hope that this exercise will help you perform your duties and become a successful part of the team here at Barney's Gourmet Hamburgers. Thank you for participating. Please take the test on the material we have just covered. Good luck!